Foreign streets now offer sanctuary to hundreds of thousands of exiled Uyghurs. They fled China, but fear Chinese reach. Worried spies in the community will report on them, potentially putting family back home at risk. That fear may be well grounded, according to this man. <laughs> Mehmet had been living abroad. He says when he returned to China, he was detained and tortured until he agreed to go abroad once more and report back. They beat me with tourist wire and the pipe non-stop. There was no place left without breathing. They hung me by my arms for three hours. I couldn't cope any longer, so I begged them to take me down from hanging. Then they placed me on a chair facing backwards and hit my bottom. After screaming and begging for so long, I passed out. When I woke up, I found myself lying on the floor. They asked me if I wanted water. I said yes. About one and a half an hour later, they started integrating me again, which lasted a total of seven, eight hours. I was then taken back to my cell. He was held for 16 months with others who'd also travelled abroad. Each time when the cell door opened, I prayed that they hadn't come for me, or oh, please don't call my name. They asked me, what task were you asked to do when you came back? I said, I am just a chef. What other task is it possible for me to do? They said, you haven't felt severity of the pain enough yet. They used a white water pipe and hit the sole on my feet and the bottom over a hundred times. By the end, he was given money and a ticket and went to Turkey, reporting back on what he saw until last year when he could do it no more. I have spoken to my people about my problem and about what is going through my head because I am doubtful and cynical of everyone. I know I am suffering from this abnormality because of what happened to me. He now lives a life haunted by his past. He will never return to China, but he will never truly escape. Uh, and Emma, who is still uh, in Turkey, joins us from Istanbul. Emma, I mentioned earlier the U.S. State Department's response to your reports, but what exactly did they say? Secretary of State Mike Pompeo reiterated his belief that the way the Uyghurs are being treated is the stain of the century, and he said that he wanted to see an end to the mass repression, the mass detention, and also um, made reference to credible reports of um, forced abortion, forced sterilization, and also forced contraception. Now, those comments came after the British government called on China to let UN observers go in and see what was happening in the region. I think it would be fair to say both governments make those statements more in hope than expectation. Emma, I've been just watching your reports over the past few nights. Do you think it's fair to really say that, you know, the State Department talking about the stain of the century. Is this the most under-examined sort of scandal or atrocity? I'm not quite sure what the right word is in the world. Well, I would imagine that's um, an unwanted title that many feel that they may have when you think about what is going on in the world at the moment. I don't think it would be fair to say that the Uyghur situation is under-examined. There are people globally studying this, trying to raise awareness of it. I think the problem is how governments can try and tackle China. And the reality is that to try and bring China to book, they're going to have to hit it hard and hit it economically. And that has a very significant impact, because if you're going to take China on economically, you're going to see an economic impact at home as well.